Hello, welcome to Chem Chem. I'm Mrs. Newman and I'm back with another AP Chem multiple choice question to help students prepare for the May exam. This one has everything to do with Coulomb's Law, so let's learn a little chemistry. The problem reads, based on the data in the table above, which of the following correctly predicts the relative strength of attraction of Zn2+, Ca2+, and Ba2+, ions to water molecules in a solution from strongest to weakest and provides the correct reason? So you got to do two things. You got to figure out the correct order of strength of attraction between those ions and the dipole of a water molecule, as well as figure out what the proper reasoning is. So let's start by analyzing our data. They give us a table that lists the ions and their ionic radius in picometers, where the Zn2 plus at 74 picometers is the smallest, and the Ba2 plus with a radius of 135 picometers is the largest. Now the reason why they're giving you the radii here is because anytime you're dealing with ions and their attraction to either another ion or in this case the dipole of a polar molecule, there's something called Coulomb's Law at play, which Coulomb's Law states that the lattice energy or the energy associated with that attraction is going to equal the absolute value of the product of the charges involved. So Q1 times Q2 all divided by lowercase r. The Qs, again, they're going to be your charges. Keeping in mind that in chemistry, opposites attract. So you're going to have something positively charged. In this case, it's going to be one of our ions attracted to something negatively charged. In this case, it's going to be the partially negative oxygen end of the water molecule. Now, that's why you need the absolute value sign, because the positive times the negative gives you negative, and you actually just want to take the absolute value of that product. Now, the R, that is going to be your radius. In other words, the size of the particles involved here, they're going to affect the amount of energy associated with that attraction. So let's consider the charges of each one of our ions. In this particular case, all of the ions have a 2 plus charge. So when the charges of those ions are all the same, then it comes down to the size. The reason being, the larger the ion becomes, the more diffuse the charge becomes. And if that charge is more diffused, then it's going to wind up having weaker attractions. So the correct ordering here is going to be the Zn2 plus at the strongest because it's the smallest and the Ba2 plus at the weakest because it's the largest. So that means I can rule out letters C and D based on the ordering. That gives me a 50-50 shot at getting this one right. So letter A chooses that ordering because the smaller ions have stronger Coulombic attractions. Well, that 
Coulombic is referring back to the Coulomb's law. So I happen to like a lot letter A. And they're going to throw that word in there, Coulombic, either Coulombic attractions or if they're similarly charged particles, then they could use the term Coulombic repulsions, just referring back to Coulomb's law. Letter B tells you that ordering because the smaller ions are more electronegative. Well, that's kind of like the gotcha answer here. They want you to feel so comfortable with that term electronegative versus the Coulombic attractions that you automatically pick B. Don't let them trick you though. The answer here is letter A. I hope this helps you prepare for the AP Chem exam in May. Continue to follow along for more AP Chem content.